Zebras are among the most well-known and easily recognizable animals, not only in Africa, but also across the globe. Although many people believe they are harmless and gentle creatures, the reality is quite different. These striped horses are capable of taking down lions, outsmarting crocodiles, and dominating their own kind, as you can see in this video. Today, I will demonstrate and explain why zebras are much more dangerous than most people realize. Let's get started. Lions. Zebras, often encountering large predatory cats, have developed a remarkable ability to defend themselves. They are not just prey, they are agile, cunning, and surprisingly dangerous adversaries. For instance, in one encounter, a zebra attacked from behind by a lioness quickly turned and threw its attacker off. The lioness persisted, but the zebra was determined, eventually escaping into the forest. In another situation, a lioness targeted a group of zebras. Despite her efforts, the zebras collectively repelled her, even trampling her in the process. The lioness, however, managed to catch a zebra later on, sharing the kill with another lioness. The next encounter mirrored the first, but this time the lioness avoided being trampled. She attacked from the side, successfully capturing a zebra. This zebra fought back fiercely, biting the lioness and ultimately rejoining its group. Some zebras are even adept at fending off predators before an attack can fully commence. One zebra, for example, delivered a powerful kick that sent the lioness flying, demonstrating a formidable defense mechanism. Interestingly, scientists believe that a zebra's hoof kick might be one of the strongest in the animal kingdom, capable of breaking a crocodile's jaw and tossing smaller animals like balls. In one unusual instance, a zebra chose to attack a baby heart beast, an African antelope. The calf was knocked unconscious but recovered after 20 seconds. The adult heart beast rushed to its aid, and while the zebras pursued, they were unable to cause further harm. Despite the harsh realities of the animal world, it's hard not to feel sympathy for the young hard beast in such a situation. Warthog. Vaughthog are also well aware of what a zebra hoof kick is, at least this animal is aware of it. The zebras were resting and eating something when suddenly a group of vaughthog came to them. One of the African pigs came close to the zebra and the zebra went crazy. It went into fight mode and kicked the poor creature with all its might. Of course, the zebra knocked the warthog out cold, but again, don't worry, at the end of the video, it came to its senses. Even though it got a concussion, it survived, and that's the main thing, but don't think the zebras only know how to kick small vaughthog or baby antelopes in the head, they can kick adult antelopes too. Antelopes. The situation is similar to the previous one. Two groups of animals are standing somewhere in the savanna, resting and eating. Suddenly, one antelope comes close to a zebra, and the zebra hits it exactly on the head with a sharp movement of its hoof. The kick was fast, sharp, and strong, it's just what you need to knock your opponent out. After that, everyone scattered. There was no continuation, and the defeated antelope was left lying alone. Fortunately, it soon regained consciousness, but it didn't get up quickly. The kick was so strong that the antelope struggled for a few more seconds and tried to get to its feet. Its congeners even tried to help it. At the end of the video, it gets up and runs away. Crocodiles. Okay, you don't have to be brave to kick an antelope, but can a zebra deal with a real competitor, say, a crocodile? See for yourself. Here, the zebras were wading across a river teeming with crocodiles. One of them was unlucky. A crocodile clung to it, but the zebra wasn't about to give up. It began to break free and kick. Moreover, it even tried to bite the crocodile. Certainly, it had a lot of courage, but unfortunately, the reptile still won. Here is another no less brave relative of the striped hero. It's attacked by two crocodiles at once, but the zebra bites one of them. It bites its mouth with sharp teeth. Crocodiles were clearly shocked by this rebuff. The zebra was trapped near the shore. It was attacked by a crocodile. It tried to bite its enemy, but to no avail. The bites did no damage to it. The situation was serious. The zebra was injured and weakened, but still standing. Finally, it began to move actively, came ashore, 
and freed itself from the grip. It managed to survive. However, with such injuries, it's unlikely to live long. This zebra showed a real masterclass. When the crocodile grabbed it, it turned around and didn't let the crocodile bite its throat and front legs. After a little struggle, the zebra was able to throw off the reptile and get out of the pond without much damage. It also bit the crocodile for the last time, but the most epic moment was when the zebra fearlessly waded through a river teeming with crocodiles. It crossed over the crocodiles themselves, daring, brave, and very effective. Cheetahs. It's one thing to run away from predators and quite another to attack them. Zebras are very dangerous and reckless creatures. Sometimes they can even attack fast cheetahs. See for yourself, a family of cheetahs happened to be near the zebras and the striped ones decided to chase them away. First, the cheetahs scared off the zebras themselves, but then one of them chased them and already the cats had to run away and hide. A few more seconds passed and the cheetah started to run away from the pushy zebra. Even when the video ends, the chase continues. Do you think the zebras caught up with the cheetahs or did the super speed of these spotted cats save them? Share your thoughts in the comments. Congeners. Zebras are not only dangerous to their predators and other herbivores in Africa, but they can also be dangerous to their own kind. They often fight with each other, which can be brutal, especially the first one where an adult zebra attacked a foal. It held the baby and even bit and tried to drown it. Although the foal tried to escape, the zebra continued to chase and bite it. The other zebras tried to calm the aggressor down but it was solely focused on the baby. It is uncertain if the foal survived the attack. However, such incidents are not common as zebras usually sort things out with other adults. In this video, we see two zebras having a duel to determine who will have supremacy in the harem. They bite, push, and kick each other, but no one interferes as it is their fight. It is unclear which zebra won. Another fight that we see in the video is likely due to a female or the right to own the harem. This fight is more dramatic as the zebras jump and attack each other. It ended quickly and it is not clear who won the fight and got the whole harem. In conclusion, zebras have a dark side that is often overlooked. Although this is just a small part of what we can say about them, we should be aware of their behavior. Finally, the video will also share a few more facts about these striped creatures, so keep watching. Species of Zebras it may seem that all zebras are the same, but they're not. This horse subgenus is subdivided into as many as three species. The common zebra, the grevis zebra, and the mountain zebra. The common zebra, also known as the plain zebra, is the most common, no pun intended. This is the zebra that everyone usually imagines in their head when it comes to zebras, it's also the most popular. For example, Marty from the Madagascar animated movie is exactly the common zebra. The Grevis zebra is larger than the others, it has bigger ears and a muzzle, as well as a light-colored belly without stripes, and there are more stripes on the body itself. The mountain zebra also has no stripes on the belly, but it's sure to have a crease on the neck. Of the three species, only the common zebra is out of danger, while the mountain zebra and the Grevis zebra are endangered. Stripes Zebra stripes are their most distinctive feature. Distinctive in the truest sense of the word. The stripes of each zebra are as unique as human fingerprints. You'll never find two zebras with identical stripes. It's by the stripes that a baby zebra distinguishes its mother from other striped creatures. By the way, zebra stripes not only distinguish them from other African animals, but also allow them to blend in with the surrounding vegetation reducing the risk of attack by colorblind predators. Plus, the stripes drive away many blood-sucking insects. Domestication. Zebras belong to the horse or equus genus, but unlike ordinary horses, humans have never been able to domesticate them. There are several reasons for this. Firstly, zebras live in constant tension because of regular contact with predators, which makes them nervous and aggressive. Such behavior makes domestication of these animals unsuitable. Secondly, while zebras gather in groups, there is no social hierarchy among them. Groups are a survival technique rather than a social concept for them. 
Thirdly, the backs of zebras are not suitable for long rides or carrying heavy loads. They are smaller and weaker than horses. Although it is possible to train some individuals and make exotic horses out of them, zebras as a subgenus cannot be completely domesticated. Migration. And finally, let's check out this beautiful footage of zebras migrating. The zebra migration in Botswana is the second largest wildlife migration in Africa after the Great Serengeti and Maasai Mara migrations. Up to 50,000 animals participate in the migration and travel about 310 miles from north to south and back to escape the drought. Just take a look at this footage. It's truly mesmerizing. That's all, folks. Have you ever seen zebras in person? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.